Baseball season about to give away to football season in Kansas City, as evidenced by the Chiefs packing up and heading out for St. Joe. Here's Ryan Marshall. Chiefs training camp in Missouri Western State starts in five days. I'm ready, man. I'm excited. It's uh, it's going to be a fun year. I, I, can, I can feel it getting going already. Um, got the got the nerves going already. Some say the offense will be ready to go. As for the defense, a lot of people have been uh, been been giving the defense a hard time the past year or so, a year or so. So it's just you know coming together as a team and uh, and being there for each other and building that all in uh, St. Joe. Linebacker Reggie Ragland knows they may call him to step up as one of the defensive leaders. Ragland says, "This is what I want to do. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it. This is everything I talked about as a kid growing up." being a leader. Uh, my dad always told me to be a leader, be in the front, don't be in the back. The players will be ready, but what about the tools of their trade? Somebody's got to handle the equipment. This is uh, what we do for the players, and everybody will obviously have helmet and shoulder pads, knee pads, thigh pads, their favorite shoes, workout shoes. The team started transporting equipment to Missouri Western on Tuesday. Chiefs equipment manager Alan Wright has been on the job 36 years, making sure players and coaches have what they need to get the job done. You can have too much and nobody cares, but they care if you run out. So, so we take too much of everything. Um, that's kind of the equipment manager. You know, you, you know how you guys feel when you pack to go on vacation take that times 100 and that's what I feel right now. Training camp is certainly not vacation. It'll be hot days and hard work. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Ryan Marshall, 41 Action News.